Hey everybody, it's Kim here again and welcome to part 2 of our layout cleanup session in Toon Boom Harmony. In this video I'm going to be showing you all about the tools I use to clean my image up and what it's going to look like in the end. What you want to do first is make sure that the lines that we use are going to match the style that we have in the location design. So as you can see here, there's some areas with shading and there are some lines that have a little bit of thickness to them. So we want to make sure that the style of this layout echoes what is happening in this style over here. So as you can see, we have a little no entry sign on our screen, which means that we can't edit this layer right now because we don't have anything on it. But the minute you select one of your drawing tools, you'll see that you'll be able to start drawing immediately and that will automatically add a frame to your clean layer. Alternatively, we can actually just click on the first frame of our clean layer and add a new drawing ourselves. If you'd like to expose this drawing so that it matches the layers underneath it, you just need to go to the end of your timeline and press F5 on that layer. Now I want to start tracing my image. I'm going to use the pencil tool to do this because the pencil tool is incredibly clean, it's easy to manipulate, and it has fewer points on it than a brush line, for instance. But here you can see all of the tool properties for our pencil tool. These are the basic quick settings that you can adjust immediately. But if you go into this arrow up here, you'll start to see some settings that are a little bit more complicated. Here we have maximum size, minimum size, smoothing and contour smoothing, whereas over here we only have our maximum size and smoothing. So in my settings here, I'm going to make sure that my line weight is more or less the same line weight that I see in my location design. I'm going to go with the line weight of six or seven. And here I have my minimum size. 20% of 6 ends up with a tapered line. This is especially for if you're drawing with a tablet. But in this case, all of the lines in our location design are weighted evenly throughout except for one or two. So I'm going to actually put this on to 100%. And that's going to give us an evenly weighted line. The smoothing we can leave as is, this just reduces the amount of points on your line and also smooths out any lines that you draw. But we're not going to be doing a lot of hand-drawn lines, so we don't have to worry about that so much. Then over here, you get to choose the start, the end, and the join on your lines. You can have the option of round or flat, and on the join, you get the option of round, mitre, and bevel. We are going to stick to round for everything but feel free to play around with these settings. As you can see over here, we also have a bunch of preset pencil lines. So if you want to, you can go straight to the fixed thickness line, which will already give you a minimum size of 100% of the original line weight that you've chosen. So it's up to you what you want to use to draw the scene. I'm just going to stick with the line that I have and I'm going to start drawing now. So what I'm going to do here, instead of attempting to try and draw my lines freehand, as you can see that's not going to work very well, I'm actually going to use my shift key on my keyboard to create perfectly straight lines. In some cases what might happen is you might get a bit of a messy join like this, in which case I like to grab my contour editor, turn on my snapped contour in the tool properties, and then snap my lines together. Let's just make sure that everything stays neat and that you don't have any messy joins. So I'm going to continue to draw with my shift key held down the straight lines with my pencil tool. You can manipulate your lines also with your drawing selection tool. And then we get two lines like this that actually have a curve to them. 
So again, instead of going ahead and drawing it freehand, which I could make a mess out of, I'm going to draw a straight pencil line using my shift key. And I'm going to use my contour editor to drag the middle of this line up and create a curve. You can also grab the points on either end of this curve and use the handlebars to edit it. Some more options we can use with our pencil tool are the close gap button and the line building mode. The close gaps button over here will just automatically close any small gaps you leave as you're drawing your objects so that it's a bit easier to paint when you come to using your paint bucket. The other option we have over here is the line building mode. If I click on this and I create more than one line as I'm drawing, the line building mode will actually flatten those lines into one object. So if I draw a line here and then another one over here, and we take our selection tool, you'll see that this has now become one solid line. So those are two options you can use just to make your life a little bit easier while drawing with your pencil tool. Another way of drawing objects is using the polyline tool, which is here underneath our shapes. Polyline. And it looks a little bit like the pen tool from Photoshop. As you can see, it's got a little pen symbol over there. And this works with points. So if we click one point over here and then another, you'll see it creates a straight line, which we can then go and edit with our contour editor to create a curve. Alternatively, you can create curves directly with the polyline tool by clicking once and then clicking and holding on the second point so that it creates a curve. Now if I continue this way, I'll be able to create another curve at the top of this couch. So if I click and hold here, you'll see it creates another curve along the top of the couch. As we just saw, when dragging your mouse to create the curve, the handles will pull evenly on each side of the vector point. We can go and adjust these after they've been traced by grabbing our handlebars. But if I grab this handlebar and I move it, you'll see it edits the curves on both of these lines. I just want to edit the curve on this top line. So I'm going to hold down my Alt key as I grab this top handlebar and you'll see it breaks the handlebars so that you can edit just one line instead of both. so you can get the exact curve that you want from your polyline. Now I'm going to look at the shape here at the bottom of the lamp. It's a nice oval shape. We could create that with a polyline or with two straight lines that we curve, but an easier way to do it would be to go to our ellipse tool, which again is here under our shapes, and without holding shift, create an oval that'll fit into that lamp shape. I can then go and edit it with my editing tools to fit exactly where I need it to. I can also use this for places like the table, uh, maybe the tops of the table legs. But as far as everything else is concerned, we could probably get away with using straight lines and curves or the polyline tool. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off and show you guys the final product. See you soon. So here we are with the finished traced layout done all in its clean layer. You can see that I've added things to this scene that wasn't there originally, like the curved arms on the armchair, the pillows on the couch, I changed the angle of the laptop a little bit to fit the location design and everything here has been drawn with the pencil tool and then either just left as is or edited with the contour editor. So that's how you trace a layout in Toon Beam Harmony. I hope you enjoyed that and see you next time.